We began with breaking news. A Chicago police officer shot and killed a man during a confrontation in Inglewood. WGN's Jewel Hillary is live at the scene with the latest. Jewel. Hi, good evening, you all. The man's body was carried out on a gurney just about an hour ago, and literally just within the last 10 minutes or so, the street where this shooting happened has opened back up. <laughs> An emotional outpouring from the sister of the man killed in today's shooting. The rush of officers canvassing the 6500 block of South Harvard Avenue has residents who call themselves a tight knit community concerned. It's been pretty quiet. You know, I'm, that's why everybody's like, what is going on? You know, because if it was actively every day doing something crazy, you know, the news over here all the time, we wouldn't be so concerned, but this is something to be concerned about. The focus of detectives investigation appears to be this four story apartment complex at the end of the block. I seen them zoom through here, but I had no idea what was going on. Shortly after 11 Sunday morning, CPD Deputy Director Tom Ahern says officers were responding to a domestic disturbance when they came across a man with a knife. That's when an officer fatally shot the 28 year old man. Now the Civilian Office of Police Accountability is investigating the specifics, which includes a use of force investigation. According to the Chicago Fire Department, a CPD officer was taken to the University of Chicago for observation. Those who live in the area tell us their block is typically peaceful, but they say the building swarmed by investigators today has been the center of attention in the past. I think two years ago, somebody was holding somebody hostage, so this is not the first time, but the neighborhood is a great neighborhood. In spite of Sunday's tragedy, residents say they love their neighborhood and they want outsiders to know that just about everybody on the block has a security camera. So if anybody want to come over here on Harvard block, think they're going to do something, get away with it, go somewhere else with it. Now, the officer involved in today's shooting will be placed on administrative duties for 30 days. Live in Inglewood, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.